On the short line, Darren? Yeah. Yeah, I've just lost one about 10, 15 minutes ago. We've been catching those skimmers and I've not really seen any signs of carp. And then suddenly, a few more signs, a few less skimmers. And things are looking up. Have you done anything different at all or just plugged I've, away? Because, mindfully, it's going, gone a bit cooler with that cloud cover. And there's some fish moving about now closer to the bank. Yeah. I put a couple of pots of hemp and corn in just to what, try. Just, and, just to put and push them down? Two, two pots, and as soon as I lost that fish, put two more pots in and just say, like you said, just, just to show them there's some bait there. Cool, that's so, a good one. It's a nice fish. You see how quickly I got that in? You know, it's like. That's a bruiser, isn't it, that one? Two minutes, that. Yeah, it's a big old fish, beautiful fish here that's as well. A, that's well over double figures, that one. Yeah, he's a double, isn't he? Which just goes to prove that, you know, the reasoning behind using sort of O20 line and strong elastic, well, that's the reason, isn't it? Well, they're just too big, aren't they? Got to be so careful. There's, I mean, he's a proper lively lad, he is. Just to put that. Beautiful fish. Probably not going to be able to pick him up properly because, oh maybe, look at that, <laughs> there's a proper short fish for Larford that is, beautiful, beautiful fish. Cracking fish Darren. Yeah he's a nice fish isn't he? Right sir, just a double. If I can put you straight on anything else, no problem, you know where I am. <laughs> oh, old but gold, that's what they're saying, it. So I'm going to feed again now. I just think that... Um, so rather than just flicking five or six bits of meat over, you've changed your feeding completely, I've have you? I've changed the tactics. There were so many skimmers that uh, I've just pinched that extra tin of hemp off you. I'm putting mainly hemp in, a little bit of corn and a few grains of, a few cubes of meat. Trying to sneak it in a bit, not making too much noise. I want it to get down on the bottom. One of my favourite baits, for these kind of conditions, is to find two nice big bits of 8mm meat. I've got a nice size 12. Um, extra strong on, and I put two bits of meat on. I do it different to Alex. Push it through like that, bring it out of the side, and I get another piece, and I put it on like that, and then I just tilt that, and that sits beautifully there. And the difference is, the hook's still showing, so you can still hook the fish, and you're not having to pull the meat through the hook to hook the fish because it sits like that, it's a really nice angle. My favourite bait for great big lumps. 